All right, so this was a request from Jay and Owen to see this application, in particular, Galaxy Explorer. So let's go ahead and launch it. This is Share Your Idea, a community-based program where you come up with the idea and we build it in six weeks. We then open source it back to the community for you to learn, add new features, and make the experience better. We can't wait to see what you create. Okay. Let's start your journey by pinning the Earth in the center of your room. Pin the Earth to the center, so... Say there? Alright. Great! This is our home. But we are a small part of a bigger picture. Which is a small part Ooh. of an even bigger picture. Back up big time for this. ...made up of hundreds of billions of stars and solar systems. You can learn and explore by looking around and selecting things that interest you. Okay. Let's go with the uh, Crab Nebula. The Crab Nebula is the remains of a supernova which was reported by Chinese astronomers in the year 1054. The nebula itself was later observed by the English astronomer John Davis in 1731. Okay. What else can I do? Whoops. <laughs> Let's go back. There we are. Okay, there's our... So let's use some of these tools. We can grab, zoom, tilt, reset, about, and controls. Let's do grab. So I can... So grab looks like it's just moving it with my visor. Can I... No, I can't physically grab it. Let's try zoom. There we are. So we'll zoom big. Ooh, that's nice. And we'll zoom small, and let's make it big. I like that. Wow. Very nice. See it on edge. Okay, let's bring this up. Oh, sorry. Keep doing that. Pillars of, no, not you. Pillars of creation. The pillars of creation are clusters of interstellar gas and gas located in the Eagle Nebula. They were photographed by the Hubble Space Telescope in 1995 and have remained one of the best known Hubble photos ever since. Neptune. Is Pluto not included since Pluto's not a planet? Is that what we're going with? Oh, Pluto. There we go. Pluto, made of ice and rock, was discovered in 1930 and was originally considered to be the ninth planet in the solar system. Pluto is small, only about two thirds the size of our moon. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union reclassified Pluto as a dwarf planet after the discovery of other similar objects in the outer solar system. Oh, didn't like the lights being out, so let's turn that back up. Did not like that at all. Okay, yeah, will not work with the lights out. Come up from below, look at it from the other side. Where's my control? So let's move, do grab. Move it down a bit, yeah. And we can jump over Pluto, not really. Let's go back. Who's left? We wanna go take a look at Venus or Mercury? Mercury. Oh, you can see the seams and the textures right there at the joints. Temperatures on its surface go as low as minus 173 degrees Celsius and as 
high as 427, or about 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Is that the texture of the model? Hmm. Find an expanse to engulf Mercury, Venus, and possibly the Earth. Okay, let's go back. Wow. Let's check out Earth. Earth, our home. This planet orbits in what is called the Goldilocks zone, which means that it is just right. What makes it just right is that it's at a distance from the water to remain open on the surface which is critical to formation of life as we know it. What can we do? We can tilt. We can zoom. Zoom. Whoops. Zoom. Can you control us? Please move. Thank you. Let's go back. What do we got? We got. Let's go to Mars. Mars is slightly more than half the size of Earth with a very thin atmosphere. While today no liquid water is present on the surface, geological features suggest that it once had large scale bodies of water. At the poles, you can see dry ice caps. Those aren't water, but rather frozen CO2. My controls. Let's grab this and bring it in the center of the room. And let's do a zoom. There we go. Okay. And let's see. Oh, a little too big. A little too big. Let's, let's move that into the room a bit. And there we are. And take a look at it. Ooh. Wow. Still a little too large. Let's zoom. There we go. Much better. Let's go back. Yeah, much easier for me to see here. Saturn. Saturn is best known for its beautiful ring system, which is mostly composed of particles of ice as well as rocks and dust. The planet's pale yellow color is due to ammonia crystals in its upper atmosphere. Let's see here. 